So we train photographers, visual journalists directly, for example, through the Elfstark Masterclass or workshops that we organize. But we also work with institutes globally to improve their capacities to deliver their own training to photojournalists. We've particularly identified uh, certain countries where the opportunities, the existing infrastructure is well, less readily available, is, is weaker than you would find in the US, in, in, uh, in Europe. The capacity strengthening program is not, uh, it's not an aim in itself, it's a tool, capacity strengthening is a tool to achieve something, well, I would say larger, and uh, what World Press Photo hopes to achieve through this program is to create a global supportive structure for visual journalists. And we've worked with institutes there to develop curricula, but also to look at the organizations themselves so that they become strong and more sustainable, uh, but all with the aim of supporting local photojournalists. There's a lot of violence directed at uh, journalists in general, but particularly because of the way they work as visual journalists. So one of the partners that we're working with is Article 19, and they've uh, created a curriculum, a training program, on how photojournalists can um, increase the safety, increase their own safety uh, for working, so that they can still tell the stories that need to be told while minimizing the risks. Another example of, of things that we do is with the Asian Center for Journalism. Uh, we're starting a multimedia program because in the Philippines there is uh, a demand for multimedia storytelling and photographers play a large role in that. Just two examples of how it, it, it's different in each country with each partner due to the character, due to the needs uh, that, we, that we come across locally. And this aim of, of creating that, that network, that supportive network, has been, uh, has been a huge learning experience, not only for the partners we work with, not at all, but also very much for Wilpress Photo. Um, how do you, I mean, what does it take to improve the capacities of an organization? It means you also have to look at your own organization. Do we have the capacities to deliver the, that, that kind of support? Um, but also, on a very practical level, I mean, if, if one of the organizations wants to do uh, online learning, we also learn from them. And I'm very um, say humbled uh, and pleased uh, and proud as well, in a way, of everything that's been achieved, and mostly because it's been a very collective uh, and a very respectful journey that we've made, uh, which has not only uh, meant a lot to us, but also, I believe, to the organizations that we've worked with. So we've chosen to, to, to uh, support those organizations uh, to improve well, their, their sustainability, the way they function, their curriculum, uh, so that they can more effectively support local photojournalists. That's what, uh, what World Press Photo is about. And we realize that uh, we can do this more effectively, we can do this more sustainably if we involve others. We as supporters of photojournalists uh, have been able to reach a far larger amount of visual journalists than we as World Press Photo would ever have been able to do on our own.